Okay, in texture mode, to navigate to texture mode, in the upper left corner, click on the the mode switch icon and just toggle until we get to texture mode. And in texture mode, which is um, different from the from vertice mode, it doesn't rely on the amount of vertices you have on your objects. And it, it uses the pixels on the on your texture and uses UV coordinates to draw on the texture. All right. And by default, the brush color is green. And I'll go over the brushes shortly. This just gotta understand what UV texture is and. And the difference with UV texture is the pixels. And by default, we have it as one gig and you can increase the size, but it's recommended to leave it as one gig for a mobile device, but you can increase it. So if you want to increase it to, I guess, 4096 and it'll let you know that we, it's not really supported, but you can get to that size. All right. But for now, I'm just gonna go, go back to 124. Ah. <laughs> All right, and we're set. And you can draw. Now, um, with UV texture, this is a good example of how you can tell your UVs is with this little checker here. And if you can select your object, use UV just to see how it looks. And if there's any any issues with your UV, you can always, like for here, it says, you see this sign says broken UV. This brings up the UV unwrap tool, which is the basically the UV editor. And to bypass it, you can just press bypass and they'll let you um, draw on it, on it all right so i'm just gonna bypass it but if you sculpt in it sometime you'll get some some weird lines so the best thing to do to get a proper uv you want to use the unwrap tool so you want to make sure you select the object and it's it's selected using the yellow highlight and you can verify it here all right and then I'm just gonna go into, we have two types of UV map, a smart UV unwrap and an AI UV unwrap. I personally like the UV, the AI one, so I'm just gonna use that. And it doesn't take too long. Well, sometime it can, depending on how much, how large the object is. But, and then you have the UV there. And this will show you the map of the object. And let me just show you a different UV. And you can see the, the different patterns that the UVs have depending on the object that you select. I'm gonna turn off the, the wireframe. All right, now, first let's go over it. So the default color is, is green. So you can just click on this color changer here and you can change it to what color you like and you can change the type of brush and there's different types of brush here all right and you can increase the size but using a multiplier. I have to change it to a different brush here to get the proper color. All right, there we go. And if you want to use the, the alpha, lower the opacity, you can lower it here and Let's go here and you can have a softer, softer paint 
and a softer stroke and it can build up if you need it to build up and if I use the fill tool I can just fill this so I'm gonna use this for I guess the mountains here so I'm gonna use the mountains for that and if you need to change the color you can change the color here and as you increase the alpha the more solid the color would be and this is combining texture with color so if I put something below like right now you can't see it because the alpha is so high so I have to lower the alpha and then I can see the color even if I put colors on top as long as this alpha is below the the highest then you can combine color and texture and if you want to add any anything you can also add it through here and by default um, I have the bump map set so when you apply the texture it applies a bump map on the object and what is a bump map um, let's go here okay so a bump map is what shows a light displacement so it gives the uh, the image a visual texture it's not real texture is it's more of a a virtual well not virtual but it's it's a uh, an illusion of of a, of a texture so I'm just gonna go with generate what it currently has right now and Let's see if we go closer. All right, so you can see the texture here, and let's go here. All right, and you can see I'm changing the bump scale. So if I reduce it here, if I push it up, you can see the texture change. And if I change the texture on the bump scale, it'll change there. And just change it. If I want to use a brick texture, it's give you that square brick look. And this bump scale is what really makes the texture stand out. The, the illusion of of depth in in the in the image all right and if I decided to draw on this like if I go here and I draw on it and I go to I guess let's go with bump map and then go to generate when I apply this it will take the color as well and it'll add it'll add that color into the bump map as you can see it's actually going in now so it it took that paint and made it part of the bump map okay now we'll go ahead double click and go to texture you can change the texture here let me see Let's give it a, all right, so go with this. All right, so we got, all right, let me take off the white filter because it has a little too much white on that. And there we go. So you get a brighter color grain. And if you need to change the, the tile, you can go to texture, scroll down, and then you can increase the tiling. But the problem with increasing the tiling, it causes an issue when you're trying to draw on it. Because it, it it messes with the UV texture, so it doesn't know where, the UV coordinates is all over the place, so it doesn't know where to actually apply the stroke. So I'm just gonna put that back to one. And you can also move it off scale. Let's bring it back. So now it's now when I paint.
paint on it. Let me increase that opacity. So now that looks better. And if I want to apply, I guess, uh, make a path, you can go to this. Uh, you forgot to go over erase. Here you can always erase the, the color or the strokes. But with erase, it doesn't erase the bump map. So to get rid of the bump map, you have to go to bump map and select this blank one here. And then apply it and that's how you get rid of the bump map but the brush the erase tool only removes the color not the bump map now um this stamp tool allows you to put anything on there so so if you want to i guess add an eye i can select and put an eye and if you import let's say you import uh, a butterfly. All right, so select a butterfly, and then you can put a butterfly on your textures. All right, and now if I want to just do a, um, I guess a path. All right, so you can create a path. You can change the texture, or you can put wood. Like, and then you can increase the brush size. And this is very similar to the color, but this is just painting texture. Rather than painting texture all over the object, this allows you to have more control of how you apply the, or where you want the, the texture to be applied to. And the angle brush, this allows you to have a follow path. So it follows the angle. As you, as you move your the paint, the angles follow as each stroke. So it follows. This is good if you want to do, uh, I guess, a zipper. Or um, if you have any texture or uh, need to make an object that's always in sync. So let's go here. Can do a little duck here that follows. Okay. So, and I'm just gonna go over. I'm, I'm gonna basically revert all of that back. Put this back there. go I'm gonna paint that over and with the texture tool using the stamp you can bring in any object so if you want to import I guess an eye you can you can well, let me select the eye you can you can paste that eye on the object that you like have it here but if if you need the borders to not show you just got to make sure you use the alpha channel and erase some of the blank parts of the object okay okay so I think that's about it for brush tool and texture okay so basically you can add texture you can change your tiling you can import and you can use this alpha channel to change colors oh I almost forgot okay and you can use a selection tool if you want to select multiple objects and assign them the same texture There you go. All 
right. Okay, I think I'm done. 